Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Ellie, and today we are watching Code Geass R2 Episode 6. Surprise attack over the Pacific. Well, that's interesting. Over the Pacific, so it's from, I guess from North America, would be pretty much what is right over the Pacific. It could also be somewhere else. But, uh, yeah. Last time we had a little bit of silly sauce going on. And, uh, a surprise. Not a surprise attack, but a surprise that Nunnally is going to take the command over Area 11. Which is interesting. And, uh, I was shocked. <laughs> I really didn't know what to say to that, but I'm curious what will happen. I'm curious how she will deal with it, how Lelouch will deal with his sister being there again, and the other stuff. Also, yeah, just... What I'm thinking right now, isn't Suzuku still trying to find out if Lelouch still has his memories, or st still doesn't have the memories, or if he got him back. Because the reaction to Nunnally would definitely give away that Lelouch has his memories back. Honestly, that is an actual good strategy there. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess we will just see what happens instead of just theorizing. So let's go. So the surprise attack will hopefully be surprising. Um, I'm wondering who will be attacking. Um, and what we are going to do about it and about the whole Nunnally stuff because, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go. I, I don't really want to say anything else. So let's go in three, two, one, and go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's the strategy. He wants to talk to his sister. Okay. That's good. Thank you, Rolo. All right. Thank you, Rolo. That actually saved Lelouch's butt. Yeah. Mm, this is sad. Okay, California, so it is North America. Not really, not really. You again. <laughs> Why 
Wow, Charlie. <laughs> You're not really socially um, versed there. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Definitely. Things are not great between them. Even though they're acting as if. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, Rolo just saved Lelouch's butt with that, because um, if that hadn't been, like, if the time stop hadn't, hadn't been, he would have blown his cover, because it's his little sister. And he loves her above all, like, everything he's doing, he's basically doing for her. I continue to fight. I continue to fight. <laughs> All right. I don't have anything more to say to the intro. <laughs> I'm sorry. We still have to see Schnazel again because. All right, where are we going now? I mean, there's gonna be an attack, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Never. All right. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> because that's going to happen. Yeah, that's going to be, yeah, not happening, not for him. Let's hope not, but I fear it might be. Yeah, that was always his goal. All right. All right. God shall die, why not? confused <laughs> I'm very confused now <laughs> what is the connection between those two all 
All right. The capture, not kill her. Yeah, don't harm her. That is what they will do, or try to do at least. Let's see if we can capture Nunnally. All right. Yes, that's the plan. Makes sense. Well, but you didn't because you thought you wouldn't need him. And that is zero. Just telling them to die. Well. I guess it works. Yeah, he's getting his sister back. Let's see how the thing with Rolo will work out later. Wow, I just ruined my hair. All right, I guess they have now. So he is there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna let you pay, but I'm not gonna tell you that it's your money that I use. <laughs> wow. I mean, why not? Is that so important? Who gets the credit? Is that important? Yep. And after a long time, you see your sister again. All right. Hmm. Reuniting with his little sister. No. I mean, <laughs> she's not wrong with that, but he's not gonna kill her. I mean, he's not gonna hurt her. That's the one person he's never going to harm on purpose. All right, let's see him in actual action.
Really? Is is your honor the only thing you can think about right now? Yo. Let's just explode it before it can hit us, right? Of course. Why else? Okay, so the Lancelot is going to be back in action. <sighs> Let's not do that. You're a fool. It's your big brother. All right. She wanted to. Interesting. Um, yeah, he's not going anywhere. Ouch. Whoa, okay. It's the same, wow. I mean, they are related <laughs> to each other. Okay, Suzuku's back in the Lancelot. All right, what is he going to do? Okay. All right. She has a beacon on the wheelchair. Wow. Of course she has. All right, and off with you. Okay, no more. Yeah, she's gonna try her best. It doesn't work. Ah. Wow. Yeah, she's ruthless. <laughs> I mean, it works. Mordred, you know. She's not gonna die. Yeah, she's not gonna die. I mean, they would make it a lot more... All right. Let's 
So they're giving her the ability to fly too. All right, let's go. Okay. She is getting lots of upgrades. <laughs> So I guess let's see her use them. Yeah, you have a bigger problem now. Now they have. <laughs> Just shoot. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. Yep. That was a while ago. <laughs> And punch or kick, you know, but <laughs> that's um, that packs a punch. I'm sorry if I don't say much because honestly, this is just fighting, and I don't have a lot to comment on here. Yes, he is. Why wouldn't he be, right? Okay, what is that? Yeah, they're just trying to stall. They're trying to bite to Heim. Forty seven seconds. Um, the same place that Suzuku is going now. What are you going to do? Yeah, she trusts Suzaku more at the moment than Zero. Because she doesn't know that Zero is her brother. I mean, if she wouldn't, if she would have known that that's Lelouch there, she would have trusted him, at least a little bit. And did she just recognize his voice? Maybe she did. That would make it interesting. I'm curious if she did recognize his voice. Maybe now she kind of at least has a theory, has, has, thinks that he might be him. Mm 
Ja. Ah, uh, just a little stretching. It kind of. No, uh, I've been sitting in this chair for a while now. All right, and that is where we leave. All right, so the attack happened, um, and uh, the attack was on the on the ship there uh, to get to Natalie to kind of buy Lelouch time to get her, and wow. Because she then knew that Zero was there in the room with her, he couldn't just talk to her as Lelouch, he had to talk to her as Zero, which is sad. <laughs> I mean, I understand why he can't tell her, or why he didn't want to tell her to kind of keep her out of this, but it kind of means that she didn't, didn't trust him as much, like at all. Makes sense that she would go with Suzaku instead. That's just how it is. Yeah, and uh, Karen now has a flight and stuff, um, which is interesting. Um, a little bit of a, you know, to, to be more of an equal to the knights of the round there. Um, yeah, I guess this is not, like, I don't know. We, we'll see what happens next, um, because uh, Nanali just made a face as if she recognized the voice, um, which is going to be interesting. So, I'm curious what that will be about, um, how we will, you know, if she's going to tell Suzuku that she recognized the voice, if, if it is what happened. Maybe she's just confused, but um, if she should tell Suzuku about it, then the whole um, cop-out of I can't show Suzuku that I have my memories back might, you know, be over because um, then he might guess that he's been had. But yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, they tried to save Nanali. It didn't work the way it should have worked. But that's how plans work. <laughs> so, yeah. We did have a few allies coming up there and a few enemies, but... We did get a little information on the Emperor and his connection there, um, what? <laughs> I'm confused about that. Because, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that and hope that the questions will be answered sometime later down the line. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video, so on this note, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!